Yeah. Hello. Good morning. Is everyone who's going to join? I think so. It's time, so. <laughs> hey, how did your math go? Easy. Easy? Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Uh, let's see, because I want to discuss that together first. Um, not this one, math. Let's see what page we have done. We already discussed this in a video. So we're at here, 2D and 3D shapes, right? Yes. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to you to open your book and I'm going to tell you the correct answers. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the correct answers and then you can correct your own work. So let me put you on why at first. All right. So the answers 2D and 3D shapes. I have the book here. So let's see the, the answers. Which of these is a tetrahedron that was the first one, the blue one, answer A. That was the correct answer. For two, what is the name of a seven-sided polygon? The word for seven was hepta. So the answer is C, a heptagon. What is the name of that shape? That shape is called a rhombus. So the answer was A. And how many edges does a penta pentagonal pyramid have? If you saw the picture that I sent in the group of that pyramid and you counted all the edges, you should have found the answer 10. There were 10 edges in the pyramid if you counted them all correctly. Okay, then number five. Should be an easy one because I already gave you a worksheet about this, I think two weeks ago with all the shapes. So it's just like a review to see if you remember it. Okay, let's see. A cuboid has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. So 12, six, 12, and eight for the first one. A tetrahedron has four faces, six edges, and four vertices. So four, six, four. Let's see who want to suck on, want to join. Right. So tetrahedron four, six, four. A triangular prism has five faces, nine edges, and six vertices. So five, nine, and six. A cube is the same as a cuboid. So we have six, 12, and eight. So the same as the first one. 
And a square base pyramid, the last one, has five, eight, and five. So five faces, eight edges, and five vertices. Okay, so that was the review of that. Come on, behave yourself. Keeps biting me. She wants to join the lesson, I think. You want to join? No? Okay, bye. Okay, number six. The question was, if you were to cut out all these nets and you're going to glue them together, which one does not make a cube? Or which one doesn't make a cube is answer C. If you cut out C and you glue it together, it's not going to make a cube. Okay, if you have a question, do it at the end when we've done question seven too, okay? Then I'll unmute you all and you can ask a question about it. So C, not possible to make a cube. And then the last one that you had to do was question seven because eight and the try this were too much work to do at home. Um, let's see, circle the odd shape in each set and complete the sentences. The first one, if you counted them, they all have four sides, all of them except this one. So they are all quadrilaterals. The odd one out is a triangle. So that's what you're supposed to do. If you count them all, this one is four, four, three, four, four. So then you go back to look at the names. If it's four sides, you call it a quadrilateral. And the one that's the weird one is called a triangle. Then for B, if you would count them all, you would find that they all have six sides. So they're all hexagons, except this one. This is a pentagon. It only has five sides. Okay, and then eight and the try this, you could skip because it's too much work. You need a tennis ball and scissors and glue. So we're, we're skipping question eight and the try this. Okay, let me put your, your sound back on and then let's see if so someone has any questions. Hey. <laughs> any questions? Hey. Hey. if you mute hey. yourself, you can't ask a question. Hey. Hey. So you got all the all the answers correct for this? Unit 10 is clear? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I think it's the easiest easiest unit from this block. It online you have it. All right. Then we have one more page in our math book. Correct? The last page, the last page of this book. That's what I want you to do today as your work. So only only math, nothing else. So I will, sh I will show you quickly okay. what you have to do. And then you can do that at home. And then on, on Monday, the schedule is going to change. On Monday, from start from next week, we will have a live lesson every day. And I am going to stop giving you math lessons because teacher Volak is going to do your math classes. So you're going to do the last page of your book. And then on Monday, we have a live lesson with me for English and science questions and teacher Volak for math questions. So you are going to start the new book with teacher Volak because I'm going to teach ESL. So I don't have time anymore to teach you math. Okay, but you know, okay. teacher Volak can explain it very well. She can explain you in Khmer, so. Teacher. But first, yes. If, uh, if I didn't do in the math book, when I go back, I need to do it in the math book. No, 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 no. no. Uh, you know, you don't have to do your work twice. That would be a little bit weird for me to ask you to do it all twice. You don't have to do that. Just, just keep, 
keep the, the paper. If you wrote it on a piece of paper or in your notebook, just bring the notebook to school, show me, and then I see that you've done your work. Okay, teacher. Okay, you don't have to, it's a waste of your Wait. time to copy everything. Teacher, did you see my English homework? Oh, my cat is going crazy. She's jealous that I'm talking to you. Let's see what you have to do for the last page. So you have two days to do this, today and tomorrow. And then on Monday, you should have finished it. Okay? This is the last page. In there. Yes. Did you see my English homework? Your, your story? Yes, yeah, our field trip. Did you send it to me? Document. Oh, the document. Okay, I will see that after that. I didn't check my, my documents yet. I'll check it. Thanks for reminding me. Okay, so this is what you have to do. Problem solving and geometry. This is the review of unit 11. So if you don't remember, you can go back to unit 11 and then read all the yellow boxes where they give you the information. Okay, so which shape is symmetrical? If you don't remember what is symmetrical, you go back to unit 11 and try to find what does symmetrical mean, right? So you, you, first you're going to try to do it by yourself. Imagine this is the test. You're not going to ask me, you should know this. Which shape is congruent to this triangle? If you don't remember this word, you go back in your book and try to find it yourself because it's, all the answers are in the book somewhere. How many lines of symmetry? If you don't remember lines of symmetry, go back in the book, go back to the other videos because I also explained this in a video, what lines of symmetry are. And which of these is an isosceles triangle? If you don't remember what is isosceles, you go back and try to find it in your book by yourself first. And then Monday you'll get all the answers. Teacher, yes. can, you, can you send me uh, that page that I need to work on math? Yes, yes, I will send it after this, this class. I will send it in a group. Okay? Okay, teacher. I, I will send everything. Okay. Question five, listen carefully because I don't want to hear this in the chat anymore. Question five, you don't have to do. You can skip question five, okay? So don't ask me, I don't understand question five, you can skip it because then you have to cut out all the crazy shapes again. We don't do that. So question five, no. Okay, question six you can do. You have to do something with the symmetrical patterns again. So just read what you have to do. You can use colors. Um, so color half of the grid to make a special pattern and explore if you can make something symmetrical. And here is one idea. So you can also do your own idea. You don't have to follow exactly what they're doing in the book. You can be creative with that. See, question seven, you can also do it says which of these triangles is congruent congruent meant what do you remember what that word meant congruent it meant similar or the same so it, they ask which triangle is similar to triangle a then they ask you use a ruler to measure the sides so the sides were this and then use a protractor to measure the angles. And if both of your answers are the same, you know that they are congruent to each other. They are the same because they have the same side, the same angle. So a ruler to measure and your protractor to measure all the angles. Okay, same for question eight. It's the same that We've already seen in your book, you have to make triangles using this information. And then let's see, try this is optional because we've already done this in our book. So I don't, you don't necessarily have to do it all again. Okay, so try this. You can, so let's say question five, you can skip and try this, you can skip, okay? So you don't have to do number five and you don't have to do to try this. 
Welcome back. Okay, so let's, let me write it here for you. So for unit 11, don't do question five, plus try this. Yeah, yeah, I know, don't have the apostrophe. Okay, so don't, you don't have to do that. So unit 10 we've discussed, unit 11 we've discussed you, what you have to do. And like I said, if you don't remember, please go back first before you all ask me the questions. Okay, if you really, really, really don't know, you can ask me, but I'm not going to give you the answers. The answers you will hear on, on Monday with the live lesson. Then the other thing that you have done yesterday was science, the area where we live. Everybody did that? Yes? It's awfully quiet. Did everybody do these two pages? Because it's important that you've done this, otherwise we don't have to do the worksheet that I have planned for you right now. Everybody did this? Yes? We? Okay. So it was the area where we live. I'll just pick out the most important parts that you have to remember. You have to know that the city has a local government. So the country has a government, the province has a government, but the city also has the local government. And the, the important person, the highest one, is called the mayor. That's, that's the first thing you have to know, that the, bo like the boss of the town is called the mayor, this word, the mayor. Okay, that was the first important thing. And then they say, if you live somewhere, you have local services. We have water service, environmental service, town planning service, health service, social service, education service, and cultural and sports services. So if you think about it, what, what do you use? I think we all use the water service because we have water, we can take a shower. That is what the water service is doing. The environmental service, they're looking after the streets, collecting the rubbish. We all use that too. If we have some trash, who is going to pick it up? It's the environmental service. They pick all your trash up, make sure that the lights on your street are working, that the street is not broken. Town planning services, they make sure that they have a road, that all the signs on the road are correct, that the traffic light is working and in Simrip, we don't really have that, but they also organize the public transport. So like buses, trains, they organize that, the town planning. Health service, the hospitals, we all use hospitals. I hope we don't need to, but if we want to, we can use the health service. Social service is to help the poor people if they don't have a job, they don't have a home, they will help the poor people. It's called a social service. Education service is for, for schools. So you also use education services, otherwise you wouldn't have school. And the last one was cultural and sport. Libraries, the museum, the sport places. It's also organized by the local government. Okay, so this is what you've done yesterday. And if you, you should have done these four questions, it's not much. No, well, it's not even four, number one and four, you, not, you don't have to do. So it was only number two and number three. And this page you should have done by yourself. Okay, I want to review that by using a Worksheet, today you will get a worksheet, tomorrow you get another one. So you will never forget the services. So let me show you that on the screen and I will also send it to you in the group afterwards if you want to write it down or 
do something with it. Or for the people who didn't join the lesson, they have to do more because we just discuss it together. The people who are not here have to do it by themselves. So this is a worksheet from the book. Normally it's a home worksheet, but we will just do it today. It says, read Mariah's email to the mayor and then answer the questions. So I'm going to read it out loud for you. Read along with me because afterwards we have some questions about the services. So think what service am I seeing here? Okay. Dear mayor, I live in Cu mm, difficult town in, 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 in Spain. I don't even know how to pronounce that. In the autonomous community of Galicia. And I use lots of local services. I drink clean, fresh drinking water. I use the recycling bins near the supermarket to recycle rubbish. I use the bus to go to school. I use the doctor and the hospital. At the weekends, I go to the swimming pool and to the music club. I think that the city is a very good place to live. I think that we need more parks to play in and more zebra crossings to help us cross the road safely. I would also like recycling bins near my house. I would also like to use the public transport to go to the swimming pool and to the music club. We need more clubs after school for children to learn languages or to do sports. Yours sincerely, Maria. So she's writing to the mayor, to the boss of the town. What is the name of the place and the community where she lives? Well, I'm not going to ask you to pronounce that because I also don't know. But she lives in this town, in this community, like this province. I'm not asking you to read, I, I don't know how to pronounce it too. They're Spanish words. Okay. What services does she use? Does she use the water service? Does she use the water service? Yes or no? All I want to hear is yes or no. Yeah. Did, did she say something yes. about? Yes. Yeah, yes, she just used. Yes. What, what other service did she use? Did she use the health service? Yes. And the social service? Does she need to find a job? No, she doesn't use the social service. Does she use the school service? Yes. What about the town planning? The bus. Yes, she uses the bus. And she uses the, remember the name for the recycling? What do we call that? Difficult word. Um, the service that picks up the trash. Environment. Yes, environmental. A really difficult word. The environment means the world around you. So environmental is taking care of the world around you. Okay, let's see the next question. Is it a good place to live? Yes. Yes, yeah, she said it here. I think that the town is a very good place to live. What are some things she says could be improved? So they have to change. What does she want? She want more zebra crossing. Yeah, more zebra crossings. More parks to play. More parks, yes. Clubs. Clubs. More recycle bin. More recycle bins, yes. And public transport. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's some improvements that she wants to make. What, what, what would you do if you were the mayor of Simri? What would you want to improve? I want to improve. I it want to be, keep the city clean. Keep the city more clean? Yeah, that would be good. What is the biggest problem you think? Why is it not clean? Because people keep throwing trash everywhere. Uh, and, and what trash specifically that we read about? Plastic. Yeah, plastic, plastic, the biggest problem. And yeah, so you're the mayor maybe? 
when you grow up, you can be the mayor of Simrip. You can change that. You never know. Okay. Now we have to give examples. Water services. What does she do? Maria drinks fresh, clean drinking water. Okay, we saw that. Environmental service. What does, what does, how does she use that? What does she do? Uh, she... So for the water service, they say she, I drink clean and fresh drinking water. What does she do for the environmental? She used the recycling bins near the supermarket to recycle rubbish. Yes, very good. So that's what you should, can write. The environmental service, she uses the recycle bins near the supermarket. Town planning services. So think about what does it use for town planning services? The next part. She used the bus used to go to school. Yes, because that was the use the doctor the... and use the mm. hospital. That's not town planning. We get there, we get there. So, yes, <laughs> using the bus was the public transport is including a town LT. planning. Health service was the doctor and the hospital. Use the doctor. If you use the doctor, use the health service. Everybody needs to use the health service sometimes. And what about education service? What does she, how does she use that? Same like you. She goes to? Go to school. Yeah, she goes to school. And then the cultural and sports service. What does she do after school? She goes to the? Swimming pool. Yeah, swimming pool was sport. And then for culture, she goes to the music club to learn about music. Yes, clear? Okay, so tomorrow I will send you one more worksheet about these services so you can review it one more time. So this one. Wait, you sent this worksheet? What? You send this worksheet? Yes, I will send it, but you don't have to do it because we discussed it already. This is for the, for the kids who are not joining the live lesson. Okay, the thing that I want, okay, I'll make it very, I'll make it clear. If you join the live lesson, so all of you, you only have to do your math, the last two pages. What I showed you before about the symmetrical shapes. If so, if you join the live lesson, you only have to do your math. If you didn't join the live lesson, so the people who are not live now, they also have to do this one. So they have to do double work because we finished this one. I don't want you to do that again. Okay, then tomorrow I will send you work for English and work for science. And then start from Monday, the schedule is going to change a little bit. Okay, start from Monday, what's going to happen is First thing in the morning from 8 until 8.30. Let me write it down so that everybody understands what I'm talking about. So start for Monday. So next Monday, we will have a live lesson from 8 until 8.30. Then you're, I'm live and you can ask questions and we discuss, discuss, Answers. Then after the lesson, after the lesson, I will upload new videos. So first we have a live lesson at eight in the morning. We discuss what we did the day before. So on Monday, first we have a live lesson and discuss our work from Friday. After the lesson, I'm going to give you new work to do. And then we discuss that the following day. So you have the whole day to do your homework. Okay. So we have a live lesson in the morning where you can ask questions. 
you don't understand, I will discuss the answers with you. And after the lesson, I will do new videos. I'll tell you your new work. And then the day after that, so if I upload a video on Monday, we discuss the answers on Tuesday. That's starting from next Monday. And then teacher Volak will take over your math classes. Okay. okay. And then for the science project, I still miss it from some people. The same people that still haven't done it yet. So there's our money bad, Bissot, Song Kayon, Zach, Ian and Takabu. If they see this video, they still have to do that. For the rest of you, I will uh, discuss with teacher Udom today. I'll send him a message and then I hope I have your grades by tomorrow. Okay. Understand? Yes. Any, any other questions? Something that you want to ask me? Now, no, nope. everything's clear. So, David, what are you Maybe. going to do after this lesson? What is your homework? Uh, math. Yeah, what, what, which page for math? The? 111. Yeah, I think so. Yes, the last two pages, 110, 111. And which questions you don't have to do? Try and try this. Okay, cross them out in your book. Write it, no and no. I'm ready. Okay, good. So you're going to do 110, 111, but not question five and not to try this. Okay, and then tomorrow we have English and science, and then we're done for this week. And then next week, it will be a little bit different than this week, but I think teacher Aaron is going to send you more information about that. Okay, so we have one week more, and then we have the Khmer New Year holiday. Yes, so no homework, teacher. And then you have one week, no homework. We still have tomorrow. Tomorrow you have homework, then one more week. Then we have one week for break time for holiday, so you don't have homework, you don't have the live lesson, and after that we start again. So one week you're free. Okay? One week you're free, you don't have to do anything. Yay. So next Monday there's no like videos and stuff. Next week we have a live lesson every day and we have instruction video every day. So I will send you some work to do on Monday and then we discuss your work on Tuesday during the live lesson. So I will give you all the correct answers. Then you can check your own work. If you have a question, you can ask me and that's it. Because I think it is easier to explain something in a video instead of a live lesson. So I will make a video explaining what you have to do. So for example, we're going to do uh, spelling. I will make a video about spelling and then you can do your work at home. And then the next day I will give you your answers and you can check it in your own notebook. I will, I will send you more information about that. Everything will be, will be clear, don't worry. But that starts from Monday, okay? Because the new term has, has started. And maybe uh, one more important thing to mention, your report cards for term two are canceled for now. So you don't get your report card now because we missed a lot of tests. So it's really hard to give you a report card. So we're just going to continue on giving your grades and then uh, you will get a report card once we get back to school. Peter, I don't have I don't have Google Doc. You have. No. Every computer has Google Doc. Every computer. Uh, 
Just open your computer, go to Google and write Google Docs. You can find it. Need, uh, my, my mom phone number and email and I don't know. You don't need a phone. You can, you can use your school account. But how about phone numbers? You don't need to put a phone number, I think. Find that if you if you have problem with your Google Docs, you have to send a message to uh, Teacher Odom. He's also in the in the group of Grade Four. Just just write Teacher Odom, please help me, and then he will send you a message because Teacher Odom is better with computers than me. Okay, so he's also in the group if you need some help. Yeah. My computer need password, email address, and and phone number. Okay, maybe can you send, no. can you take a, a picture of that screen and then you send it in the group and then ask Teacher Udom maybe he can help you. Okay, okay. so just put a picture with your phone, then take a picture of your screen and then send it in the in the telegram and then i will ask teacher odom if he can help you okay take a picture of the password no of the screen oh. that you see the problem take a picture of the problem yes okay no more further questions no no oh, 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 oh. Good. Then tomorrow there's no live lesson. I just send a normal video. And then on Monday we have a live lesson. Okay? So you're going to do your math now. Only two pages. That's it. It's so hard, teacher. Just try it, Moni Bad. Try it. And if you really don't understand, you can ask me a message. But first I want you to try it. See? Because you're all very smart. You can do that. Okay, and if you don't know, just go back in your book a little bit. See if you can find the answers. Okay? Symmetrical. What is a symmetrical mean? Hey, Money Bad, if you don't know, you go back in your book. Let me see. I have the book here too. If you go to page, 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 where is it? I think it's page 96, 97. You can find what is symmetrical. 1997 to explain it to you. But Moni Bad, I think you missed all the lessons that we've done before. So maybe you have to rewatch some videos. Go back to what we've done. Okay, but our time is running out now. So before we just cut off, if you have a question, please message me. And then I'll see you on Monday during the live lesson, okay? Yes. Good luck with your math. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.